Hi, this is Mike. In our latest project, the Moon Fairy Paper Sculpture, we do have an element that needs to be set up a little bit different in your cutting machine software. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that now. Now the element in question is background underscore black dot SVG. If you're using the solid score line version, it starts with SS to indicate solid score line underscore background underscore black dot SVG. And this is what that element looks like. You'll notice that there is a crosshair right here, which is going to indicate the center of this file. And this is what we are going to want to center. Now I'm first going to show you how to do this in Shortcuts a lot, followed by Cricut Design Space, Silhouette Studio, and then Canvas Workspace. So let me turn on my grid lines so that you can see this. And we're going to be centering this into the six inch mark of our software. Now I want to preface that this is the only thing that you need to do differently with this file. When you load it onto your mat, you're going to load your mat the same exact way. You're going to load it into your machine the same exact way. The only thing we need to do is make sure that this element is centered on your cutting machine software. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to make sure that my position and size window is open. I'm going to make sure that my selection is to page, not to selection. And I just need to click the middle horizontal align and the vertical align. And you're going to see that that crosshair is now right in the center at the six inch mark. I can zoom in here and you can see that that is centered for me as well. So now this one is ready to cut. So let's go ahead and jump into Cricut. All right, so the first thing in Design Space, you do need to attach this first and select everything and click Attach. And then I can go to Make It. And again, I just want to center that crosshair at the six inch vertical and horizontal alignment. So I can zoom this in if I want. I can just drag this to where I need it to be. That's at the six and the six. If I want to confirm, I can just zoom in as far as I can. And I'm going to say, oops, that's all off just a little bit. Let's fix that. That looks perfect. I can zoom that back out. Just, yep, that looks good to go. And I can go ahead and continue and send this to cut. So let's jump over to Silhouette Studio. All right, the first thing in Silhouette Studio is you need to ensure that your width and your height are 12 by 12, your media size is 12 by 12, and that we have everything grouped. If we don't group everything in Silhouette Studio, you can see that the element and the guidelines separate. So let me get back to where we were, perfect. So I can just do edit, select all, object, group, and now everything is grouped for me. I just need to make sure my object is highlighted, which now it is, and go down here to the transform panel. And now I can go up to align, which is the first tab. And I just need to go ahead and click this center to page icon. And you can see that that crosshair is now right in the center of the six inch line on both the horizontal and the vertical. And so this is ready to go. All right, and lastly, let's go ahead and work on Canvas Workspace. The first thing that I wanna do is turn on my rulers. So I'm gonna to go to Display and Show Ruler. So now I can get an idea of where my six inch center is, and that's here. I've also clicked on artboard, which is the last icon, and I changed my grid spacing to one, just so that this area right here was directly in the six inch mark. Okay, so we're going to center that to here. Now the first thing that I need to do is edit, select all, and I need to go to layer and group. If I don't do this, then my layers will separate, and that's not what we want. All right, so now all I need to do is move this to that, that crosshair to the center mark here. So at six and six, I know that this area right here is where I wanna go. 
and I'm just going to drag that down and I can zoom in as far as I need to go so I'm a little off and you're going to get this as close as possible I think I need to go up a little bit and there you go so that is centered. I can go ahead and zoom back out. And now this is ready to be cut. Again, you're going to load the paper on your mat the same exact way that you always load paper onto your mat. And you're going to cut it the same way that you cut your regular files. We only needed to set this up and make sure that it was centered before it cuts. Can't wait to see all of your finished Moon Fairy paper sculptures.